baseball. Known as America's pastime, it boasts a rich mix of history and tradition. From the food to the uniforms, the quirky signals and superstitions. From the seventh inning stretch to the ballparks themselves, baseball boasts a unique and storied culture all of its own. Aussie pitcher Ryan Roland Smith feels right at home in this heartland of Americana. He fell in love with the game after wearing out videotaped replays of the 1993 World Series. Now the 2 2. Well hit down the left field line. Way back and go! The winners and still world champions, the Toronto Blue Jays. Never in his wildest dreams imagining that one day he would take to a major league mound as a starting pitcher with the Seattle Mariners. There's so much to it. There's a lot of physical demand in it, a lot of stuff going on, um, as well as the, you know, the psychological side of baseball. And I think at a young age too, I sort of recognise that. I just, I loved it. In the mid-90s, I had the Australian Baseball League going on, and I used to go watch the Hunter Eagles uh, play. And, um, and I used to go to those games and think, oh man, if I could play you know, at this level, that'd be great. Around 16, 17 is when I started getting a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger, and then all of a sudden I had uh, you know, the pro scouts come and check it out. And I didn't know what the minor leagues were or any of that kind of stuff. And I got over here and figured out you got about six or seven levels to get through to get to the major leagues. The fact that I didn't know what I was in for helped me because it's like, if I knew you know, now back then, it's like, it might be a different story. It's, it's tough, it is really, really tough. You don't get paid any money. You know, you go to these little towns, you play in these you know, smaller stadiums and uh, it's tough, it's, it's a tough lifestyle. Then you get the call up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mariners say, yep, you can come join our squad. Yeah. And then as you say, you're sitting in the dugout. Yeah. And you know today might be your day. Yeah. And the phone call comes. Yeah. The phone ring, I knew it was going to be me because I was a rookie and they wanted to you know, get me in in a, in a blown out game. And I just started shaking. I got up here and it felt like I had in front of the pitch for, you know, for years. And, and all of a sudden, you, know, you come in, you run down here, you hope you don't trip and fall over because the camera's normally on you. And out you go. And out you walk. That's right. There I was in, in the middle of, it was a packed house too because King Griffey Jr. was playing for the other team and he's and a legend, he a legend, he's a legend yeah. in Seattle. Sure enough, I got to come out and face him and I remember I was just shaking, I couldn't believe, you know, this is the first time, this is what I, you know, hoped to do since I was a little kid. Your very first batter is a legend of the game and a future Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well, here it is, the veteran coming back to Seattle, meeting the rookie making his major league debut. Ryan Roland Smith will face Ken Griffey Jr. I was just thinking to myself, don't walk him, because if I walk him, my coach is going to be mad, and also the fans are going to be mad that they didn't get the same hit. I threw a fastball, a slider, he fouled the pitch off. I'm like, wow, I've got two strikes on him right here. Kenji Jojima, the catcher called for a curveball. I just tried to throw it as hard as I could, and he swung, missed it. The crowd kind of booed me a little bit, and <laughs> that was it. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. I couldn't believe it, and I was just, I was walking off here. And another, another instance of just don't trip as you're walking off. <laughs> How long did it take you before you realised you were good enough to be there in the bigs? It took a while because you hear horror stories of, especially in the minor leagues, you hear, oh, well, you know, Joe Blow came over for two years and then he was, he was burned out and he was done. And the same as at the big leagues, it's like, oh, yeah, it's, it's, everyone thinks it's tough to get there, but staying there is even tougher. And, and you know, you, you worry about that and you worry about where you fit in. After a couple of months and I consistently started getting people out and getting through some big lineups, coming out of the bullpen, I felt like I was a part of the team in my first year in 07, a few months into it. That's when I felt like, you know what, I, I, can, I can do this, I can stick around, if I keep working hard, I can stay at this level. I want to basically just make the most of it while I have it. Right now I'm trying to, every little thing I can soak up from the game and, and the experience is, you know, something that I'm always grateful to have. To be able to have this lifestyle is something you never ever want to take for granted. You got the Detroit Tigers tonight, we're off to the stadium. What's your normal routine and what are you thinking about this time of the day? You've prepared the last four days you know, for each start. I'll get to the stadium, watch some, watch some video of uh, who I'm going to face, watch some video of myself and look up some scouting reports and basically just relax. In part two of Aussies Abroad, Brian Roland Smith, we go behind the scenes on game night against the Detroit Tigers. When you're out here in the, you know, in the middle of you know, the whole thing, it's a packed house. It takes a couple things just to forget you know, what's going on. You know, people are getting pretty amped up. The crowd are just on top of you and they're just, you know, it's very intense. 